flat or is it globe, mate? It's flat. This is flat. flat Thank you very much, mate. God oh, bless. <laughs> A man asked the pilot if the earth is flat. Can I talk to the pilot, please? He's right here. You're the pilot? Hi. How yeah. long have you been flying for? Uh, like, for Delta, 21 years, but maybe like 30 something. I want to know, um, because they say the pilots know a lot. Do you uh -huh. think the earth is flat or no? <laughs> I know it's flat. You know it's flat? <laughs> How long have you been flying for, you said? Over 30 years. And when people, when you tell people that, do they think you're like crazy or no? Only one person. <laughs> they built it for a flat stationary earth and my goal is for some young fighter pilot to listen to what i just said go out tomorrow and and set your the bottom of your l strobe on your altitude run it out there to 80 miles and that bottom altitude on your cursor will stay the same are you yeah. a pilot yes sir one question Okay. When you descend in, in the air, yeah, do you dip or do you go straight? It's straight. Straight? A little more with the nose out. That's but, that's it. But straight. straight. You don't dip yeah. into the. No. Okay. Thank you so much. I appreciate You're you. You're welcome, sir. All Have right. a great day. Did you notice any curvature while we were up there? Curvature? No. No. There's no, no curvature. It's just all flat. The pilot. Is the earth flat around? Pregunta controversial. Hay un debate ahora en YouTube especial, ¿no? Ajá. En el que la, las personas se cuestionan que si la curvatura de la Tierra es observable o no es observable. No, a las alturas que vuelan esos aviones. Usted no lo. Siempre. No va haciendo ningún ajuste, va como si fuera parejito, sí. sobre terreno No, no, pero sí plano. tiene unos dos grados a, más alto que, que normal, depende de lo que, del, del tercer del avión. Va. Ah, ok, la nariz va, va hacia arriba. Sí. Pero no tienen que buscar no. la curvatura. No. no. Vuela como si fuera sobre un sí. plano. Sí, es lo que hace lo que pasa el avión. Bueno, muchas pero, gracias. Pero mucho gusto. Ok, sigue bien. Pues, hasta luego. Because they tell us, you know, that at least in the U.S., the ground's moving at about 700 miles an hour left to right. And I was thinking that's kind of odd if you're landing, going north, you know, or moving in the north direction. That's not, and that, yeah, no, the ground looks to us like it's standing still. Yeah, not an issue, huh? Yeah, no. You could probably see the Rockies from Kansas. Wow. But here, it's a clear day, but if it's smoky or hazy, obviously we can't see. Excuse me, guys. Hey, I have a question for you. Yeah. One of us can answer it. Maybe. You guys adjust for curvature as you're flying through the air. You know, the Earth is supposed like, to be a ball, right? Yeah. yeah. So should we be dipping down the nose of the plane to compensate for the curvature? Or do you guys just... It's a long just, answer. <laughs> a long answer. Or do you fly on a, over a flat plane? Well, we're about a millimeter of a, over a bowling ball. We're not that that high. Eight inches per mile squared is the official uh, story of what the curvature drop should be. So a distance that far, so if you're, uh, you know, eight inches from the shore on a beach and your friend is rowing his boat yeah. out one mile away, the boat should be already hidden by the curvature. You guys don't we, see curve, you see horizon at really, eye level. No, I mean, we, if you look at more of a just curvature of the earth, we're on, you know, the perpendicular, we're just on that tangent. So and really, that, that never, and that never changes. Yeah. Earth's flat. Sorry? Earth is flat. Yeah, well, we know that. We've seen it every day. Flat and stationary. <laughs> exactly. Everybody else. Can well, you know that. You guys see the horizon at eye level. And you have to understand that if you're on a ball, as you rise from a ball, you would have to look down to see the horizon. Yeah. You don't ever see that. I look out the window of the plane and I see horizon as far as I can see flat. What's different from the front? Even from there. Your windows aren't, any, aren't that much different. <laughs> It's, Earth is flat. It's, it's, it's a big lie. You guys should look into it. You know it's flat. You guys fly over it every day. We're not allowed to tell anybody that. I know. Do you say it's flat? Yes. Yeah? Thank you very much. Is there any more pilots up here or is it just you? Just me. Just you. I got a quick question for you. Yeah. When you're up there, you. come on, cruising altitude, uh -huh. do you all have to adjust for any curvature of the Earth while you're up there? <laughs> that's a great question. I know. You don't? But I know of. Because my understanding is, is you're like on pretty much like a parallel sort of fl uh, flight uh, other than takeoff and landing, correct? Yes. Okay. 
Uh, so yeah, it, I guess it's more vertical. So we're not curving at all. So we're just going straight up, like 40, 20 degrees maybe. Right. Level off. And uh, I never thought about how the atmosphere works with the curve in the earth and all that stuff. Well, if you think about it, I've done some uh, research on it. It actually, there's a formula, eight inches per mile squared is what the curve is supposed to be. Spherical trigonometry. And if, if it was actually that formula, we would have to dip the nose a half a mile every minute to stay around the ball. So I just wanted to ask you, as someone who's up there, we, the plane doesn't do it automatically. You're not adjusting anything, right? No, no, no. It's yeah. just flying no straight. even talked about it in 30 years I've been flying. Yeah, it's, what, it's funny to so think about. So maybe the gas is moved with it. Yeah. Well, that's what I've heard as a, as a working theory. Some people think that gravity or does something for you. But I mean, I guess the common question goes back to is like, how many parallel flights does it take for you to get to go around in a circle? Very you know what I mean? Yeah, Take a look into it. Yeah, we're going to start doing that. Yeah, yeah. all right, man. Have we'll a good one. It. Hey, guys, you mind if I ask a question real quick? Yeah, sure. So, when y'all are flying up there, do yep. you account at all for the curvature of the Earth? Uh, well, we do when we do what we call uh, getting direct. Our navigation system uh -huh. off of... Uh, uh, we have IRS's internal, re uh, internal revenue uh, <laughs> initial reference system. Just do your taxes? That the uh, airplane, it can do itself. It so it matter. does it itself. Yeah, it, it doesn't matter if we lose our GPS's, but but we also use GPS satellite. And right, we right. use ground-based. And when we go direct, we no longer fly direct to a point we arc, because believe it or not, because of the marble, right. it's closer to arc to a point than it is to fly straight. So if the Earth is 25,000 miles in circumference, we have a curvature of eight inches per mile squared. I'm gonna take your word Ride with that. me. I believe you. If we're riding at about 500 miles an hour, roughly 35,000 feet, in order to stay over that, the plane would have to dip a half a mile a minute. Do you know what that would feel like up here? Uh, no. It would feel like a lot of dipping. Are you like uh, gonna like launch satellites when you, uh, or do you do No, that but I know people would actually launch hot. We, at, we launch uh, high altitude balloons. Very cool. 120,000 feet, level plane. So say that again, the, in order to stay at the same altitude? Right. So if it's a uh, 25,000 mile circumference ball, eight inches per mile squared is the formula. It's spherical trigonometry. You have to kind of go do the math to make sure it works out. But if you're traveling at that speed, we would have to dip a half a mile a minute just to stay over that. So it would honestly be like we were kind of yeah. dipping all the time. And as you all know, the nose is slightly up, sure. and flying level. So my question is, is like how many level flights does it take to go around the ball? We're not curving on the way to France. We're not curving on the way to New York. Well, we are. Are we? Yeah. Yeah, dude. It's, I mean, the forces equal out, right? Like the accelerant gravity, the gravitational force. All right, now is the plane doing it or is gravity doing it? Because now we got two different things. I I'm saying gra <laughs> gravity. All right, one more and I'll let you guys go. The Earth is moving at east to west, 1,000 miles an hour, right? I'll what's take it, your word for it. What's it like landing on a runway north and south if that runway is moving 1,000 miles an hour east? Well, we're, yeah. moving, we're moving 1,000 miles east. We're moving with the Earth? So the only thing independent of the Earth's spin is sniper bullets, not balloons and airplanes. <laughs> Think about it. I love it, man. Think about it. <laughs> All right, bro. And your experience will tell you you're flying over a stationary plane. Just forget what you're taught. Just get the wheels turning. Y'all have a good day. See you, man. Whenever you fly your plane, do you ever account for a curvature? No. Do you ever account for Coriolis or Earth spin? No. Do you ever see the Earth curving? No. Does water find its level? Yes. Does it always find its level? Yes. Okay, so water always finds its level. Does water conform to its container? Yes. Y luego, además, aquí aparece como si fuera, no sé cómo le llamamos a esto, un anexo, un añadido, algo que se cose. Sí, exactamente, un parchecito, ¿Un que, parchecito? que me recuerda a una persona muy especial. Eh, plana y estacionaria, se ve. ¿Plana? Sí. Y eh, no tiene algo de achatamiento, no se ve el... ¿No? Eso es cuando ya la nos vamos a la órbita, ¿no? La curvatura se ve... Cuando la cámara es de ojo de, de pez, como la que llevaba el que se tiró de Red Bull, sí. ahí sí que ves la curvatura, pero si la cámara es una cámara normal, se ve todo recto. Normalmente volamos a lo máximo, el techo del avión es 41.000 pies, que son 12 kilómetros, 800 metros o algo así, sí. pero normalmente volamos a 35, 37, que son altura, no se ve. 10... La curvatura. No, hombre, no, según... Eh, a ver, yo he volado con el Lier a 47.000 pies, con el Lier del jet privado, que son unos 13 kilómetros, 600 o algo así, y tampoco. Ah, 
Um, did you notice any curvature while we were up there? Uh, no. No? What did you, you see while we were up there? Uh, this is the blue sky, white clouds. Yeah, is it flat or? Pretty flat. Pretty flat? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Captain, you know what? Do you Someone wants to say hi, is that okay? Oh. Do you adjust for curvature when you get up to a certain altitude? Well, yeah, if you're, when you see the sun coming up on the horizon, I don't know if you will. But the, the plane stays at an even pitch throughout the whole flight? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, not, not too much curvature to account for? Uh, no. More flat than anything? No, if you close your eyes, you won't have a clue. True. More flat yeah. than anything? What was that? It's more flat than anything. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you, guys. Yeah. I appreciate it. Thank you. Flat or a ball? Flat. Lots of ball. <laughs> yeah, me too. It certainly does, doesn't it? And you, you, you've got that flight in. Excuse me. Do you mind? Hey, how you doing? Very well. How are you? So you know how we just took a flight of descent? Yeah. Um, did you have to compensate for curvature? No. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So did you just have to compensate? Or curvature due to the flood of descent as no. we landed just now. No, not necessary. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. You bet. So the pilot just told me that the Earth is flat. <laughs> hey, I just want to say thanks for the right. smooth flight. All right. I have did have one question. Is there like a specific angle of downward tilt you have to fly at? To three degrees. Three degrees for the curvature of the Earth? Oh, for the Earth? Because yeah, you know, we just fly over over the troposphere. Really? Yeah, but yeah. Do you have to keep like kind of going down because? No, we actually have to nose up. Like twice. But yeah. Really? Because I was reading some stuff on the flat earth that made a lot of sense. Have you looked into it? This one? This one? Sorry. On the, I was reading a lot of stuff on the flat earth. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. True, true. It's true? Yeah. Okay, yeah. alright, cool. All right. God bless, brother. Alright, have a good one. You too. I'm a fellow, uh, Casey Josh, I'm a fellow, just PPL, hello, oh. pilot, cool. yeah. Yeah, nice. i got a couple of serious questions to ask okay, you. Okay, here we go. Yeah, there's a big time. <laughs> Kivacha. Curvature? Yeah. Yeah. We don't allow for curvature, do we? Yeah. <laughs> for anything, not for you usually. Yeah. No, we're we're round. We're a disc, aren't we? Round I'm just flat. Yeah. Sorry. Hey. Look. Honestly. Quite seriously. Yeah. We are, aren't we? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah.